So to familiarize you with the screen setup here, what you see is our fine cutting thickness, which is set right now to one micron. We can go up to a couple of hundred microns. Ideally for plant samples for laser capture micro dissection, we do between 15 and 20 microns. Um, if you're going to mount it for maybe imaging, if you're going to do some dyeing and staining of, of tissue, um, you could go up to like 25 or 30 and you could still get a pretty good picture on the confocal. This button right here, we'll set it to the trim and this can go anywhere from 500 at in increments of 50 microns and then down to, you know, down to 20. Now what's nice about trim is this is when you're advancing and you're just cutting through matrix and you haven't gotten to your sample yet. And I'll show you how that works in a second. The menu key here will allow you to set that Peltier station to be chilled or heated. You can set the time for defrost using these up and down buttons. Um, it's set to go onto a defrost cycle around 10.30 at night. You can ask it to interrupt a defrost. If you're working really late, you can tell it to um, stop which are, if you want to get into it. The buttons on the side here control the carriage moving forward and backward. So this is what's going to move forward. The actual blade holder isn't going to move. This is what's going to move towards the blade every single time you cut. So you can advance it manually using this automatic advance button. When you push it, it'll automatically approach. You can move it manually backwards. You can move it forward, or you can move it forward in very small sections. And this is set to your fine advanced setting. So this is at 18 microns every time you push that button. In order to move the, um, the carriage forward, you will unlock the wheel with that button, and then you turn the wheel over here on the right. And every time you do a full rotation of that wheel, it's going to go forward 18 microns or 60 microns depending on which setting you have your um, advance on. So the angle at which the blade strikes the sample is important to making a clean cut. So we like to have it around 10, you can just turn it, set it like that, and then clamp down this black bar, like so. So once our sample's been frozen solid to the chuck, we're going to mount it here and make sure it's seated quite deeply. And it's going to be tightened down with this first screw. You want to make sure that you're pointing in a diamond shape down so that there is less resistance as it crosses past the blade. Once you have it oriented the way you want, it's usually centered, you tighten this bar. Now I like to release the wheel and bring it close to the blade so you have a point of reference and then advance it using the buttons on the left. Once it looks like you have it pretty close, Start cutting. So here I have it set to trim. And this way I'm advancing 60 microns with each turn of this wheel and this will allow us to get to our sample faster. It helps to have your brush handy to remove any of the excess matrix that's being cut off. Right now you can hear it's only hitting these corners because of the angle but then we get a good cut into the matrix itself with a little bit of the sample. As we go deeper, the slice gets bigger because we're getting down into the actual tissue. So you can see the stem of the tomato right there pretty clearly. The other stem is sort of off to the side not quite in the plane uh, with the rest of the sample. At this point I want to get that plane as flat as possible so I'm actually going to adjust the blade and then remember how I do that is to move this bar 
loosen it and then turn this this whole thing just a tiny bit and hopefully when we advance we'll get a flatter section yeah that was a lot smoother so now you can see we're getting into that other set of stems right there and brush away any excess when you're brushing try to brush straight down into this um, pan because when we clean at the end of the day that's how we're going to get the um, get it clean.